Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for May 12th. Um, I am outdoors again, but sitting in the car with the windows down. Hopefully you'll still be able to hear the birds and stuff. Um, it's kind of a gray day. It's supposed to rain, and I really didn't want to come out here prepared to be outside and then get rained on. So, safety of the car. And the zoo train. The zoo is busy this morning. But let's get started. So today's devotion is titled, How's My Driving? And the Bible reading is from James chapter 1, verses 19 to 26. Come on. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you, which can save you. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in what they do. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. Ugh! I yelled as the repair truck cut in front of me. That's when I saw the message, How's my driving? And a phone number. I picked up my phone and dialed. A woman asked me why I was calling, and I vented my frustration. She took down the truck's number. Then she said wearily, You know, you can always call to report someone who's driving nicely. Ouch. Her tired words instantly punctured my smug self-righteousness. Embarrassment flooded me. In my zeal for justice, I hadn't paused to consider how my rage-filled tone could affect this woman in her difficult job. The disconnect between my faith and my fruit fruitfulness in that moment was devastating. The gap between our actions and our convictions is what the book of James focuses on. In James chapter 1 verses 19 to 20, we read, My brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry, because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Later, he adds, do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. None of us is perfect. Sometimes our driving in life needs help. The kind that starts with confession and asks for God's help. Trusting him to keep filing the rough edges of our character. Why can words spoken quickly and in anger be problematic? How can you better live out what you truly believe? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.